the Miami Dolphins opted to move on from head coach Brian Flores on Monday and began looking for their next coach. With this news, there have been a lot of reports and questions about what this may mean for their quarterback, Tua Tungavailoa. There have been rumblings about a Deshaun Watson trade for nearly a year now, and it was always mentioned that Flores was one of the reasons that Watson was considering Miami. Now that the coach is gone, that may put an end to that speculation. However, there's still the discussion of where the Dolphins go from here. Tunga Vailoa is entering his third season in the NFL. He hasn't exactly lived up to the standards of a fifth overall draft selection, but you can make excuses for him all day to answer why that's been. He was brought along slowly in his rookie year after being drafted with an injury. Then, there was the swapping back and forth between him and Ryan Fitzpatrick before Tunga Vailoa was eventually allowed to take over. And, his second year was plagued by more injuries, started only 12 of 17 games, a terrible offensive line, and some questionable play calling. All of that can be said, but at the end of the day, should Tunga Vailoa perform better than he has when he's on the field? That answer is yes. So, now without Flores, owner Stephen Ross has said the quarterback decision will fall on the next head coach. An up-and-coming offensive coach like Cowboys offensive coordinator Kellen Moore, who the team has requested to interview, may look at Tunga Vailoa and see a guy who he can fix. He helped take Dak Prescott's game to the next level, so he may believe that the same can happen in Miami. Will the next head coach, whoever that may be, want to ride out another year or more with Tunga Vailoa? That won't be answered until we find out who accepts the job. Miami Dolphins may need to trade Xavier Howard this year. The Miami Dolphins went through a rocky situation last year with Xavier Howard and they could be headed into another nightmare in 2022. At some point in time, enough is enough. On Tuesday, Howard tweeted out a rather odd message. Was it a simple, goodbye for the season or is there something deeper to it? Speaking to several people close to the Dolphins, there is a genuine desire to get out of Miami for Howard. Last year, money saved him but it may not be that easy this year. If the Dolphins are hellbent on keeping him, they are likely going to run into more offseason issues that include him staying away from the team's workouts. What the Dolphins should do is trade him. If he is indeed disgruntled in his Twitter message as him wanting to say goodbye, then Chris Greer needs to field calls and ship him off to the highest bidder or one of the worst teams in the NFL where he can cry some more. Howard will go to another Pro Bowl this year but we all know that he was not close to the corner he was in 2021 that led to his desire for an adjusted contract. Some believe that he will try and leverage more money this offseason. At some point, again, enough is enough. Fans will not be happy if the they lose Howard and the Dolphins' defense will not be as good but Miami can still find and sign a boundary corner to replace him. They will have a draft pick that they can spend if needed. What they have to do is avoid problems within the locker room. There is far too much drama right now as it is. Howard doesn't have any trade clauses in his contract so he doesn't control where he would be traded to. He could refuse to play for a team and threaten to sit out but the Dolphins could just as easily discipline him and sit him out withholding his salary. It appears, at least on the surface, that the Dolphins are going to have a problem again this offseason. If they do, and I will cautiously say that is a big if, then this is the last offseason that he will have much value. Trade him and get something in return and then move on.